Hey everybody, how's it going today? It's Matt and it is Maniac Maniac Monday. Uh, I got a fantastic one for you. But first and foremost, I want to ask it, how was everybody's weekend? Hopefully everybody did something fun. Hopefully watched a movie or at least got to relax or do at least be with some some loved ones with some family or some friends you know that whole that whole jazz you know um mine was actually it was all right so you know no complaints um another weekend you know the usual usual thing um uh, uh i'm i'm fumbling over my words right now uh today's movie on to that it's from 2011 and it's um got a bunch of names I'm, I'm i'm going to murder a bunch of the names i'm sorry we got susan emich uh magdalena ritter julietta witt uh stephanie grabner sonali Wiedenhofer, michael seiler and dieterita shawl directed by andreas marshall and that is masks i don't know if i can fuck it let's do it um the movie masks uh uh well, I just feel weird showing the butt. I don't know. Can I show that? I don't know. I think I can get away with it. It's on the cover art there, so let's be ballsy and do it. Uh, <laughs> this is the uh, real gore release, by the way. It's the uh, an American release. Uh, I don't know if there is a a different release overseas there probably is because you know this was a really good one let me show you my release here what I got um, there's the front cover by the way and then let's reverse it around here here's the back um, special it's a lot of glare on that one today there we go if you can see that there's your special features and if you notice, I got number 739, I believe is what that says, backwards, out of 3,000. I pre-ordered this bad boy quite early. Um, I thought I would get a lower number than that, but I didn't, which is which is all right. Uh, it comes with the CD soundtrack, and it also has this handy-dandy book, which is very, very nice. It tells you a lot about the film. Uh, and this is a uh, Blu-ray DVD combo, by the way. Uh, no reversible cover artwork, um, and it has this little handy dandy card in there, which has got the the uh, lead from the movie, um, and she was actually really good. I liked her in this. Um, a pretty, very pretty girl. Um, her acting was, you know, much, it was better than I was expecting. Uh, the story, wow, the story is amazing. I really, really liked this one. Um, I almost saved it for Friday because I do the best movie. I tried to save Friday for the best movie of the week, but I just could not wait to do this one. That was so good. Um, this is for fans that like Suspiria uh, or Starry Eyes. That's another great one. Or just even people that are into the uh, um, the conspiracy theory of of Hollywood uh, basically doing the uh, what is that the uh, the MK Ultra stuff where where they they uh, basically damage their brain so much that they're able to control them uh, very scary stuff that's what this kind of is it's a you know it's about a girl who goes who is a when she first starts out she's just a, a very subpar actress nothing nothing to blow your socks off uh, uh she's okay uh she gets accepted to this this very prestigious school which is the uh the Matazuz Gidola Institute which um by the way is a very it's supposed to be very prestigious but only only it's very selective about who they get only the best of the best are allowed to go there which is uh um kind of bizarre with that which they picked the worst out of the worst uh <laughs> but they saw <clears throat> excuse me they saw some potential there they saw a lot of potential there which um if you watch the film you'll know exactly what happens not a high body count in this but it moves very 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 well i mean this is a masterpiece uh, like I said, if you like Suspiria, you're gonna like this. It's got, um, as a matter of fact, it, on the back here, it even says, 
Uh, Andreas Marshall is the German Ar- Dario Argento, and that's from from Jörg Butgreit, you know, the guy that that uh, directed the Necro- Necromantic and Der Todes King and and uh, Schramm and and the Captain Berlin movie, which I've never seen. Uh, <laughs> um, it's it looks cool, it looks fun. Um, this one though, this is a lot of fun. I hope I don't get in trouble for showing this cover. If I do, I do. I guess I'll redo the video and and cover up I'm getting so much glare on that if I hold it that way I guess I'm a little better but um back to uh what the movie is about she gets she gets uh accepted in this prestigious school um they is immediately when she gets there she's having uh issues with the other students they clearly do not like her um she doesn't she she doesn't show any any uh any qualms about showing or at least standing up for herself she's a very strong-willed person which is nice to see she doesn't she isn't just a pushover um she isn't just uh some girl that's that's going to um be the uh, cliche final girl you know that one of those deals um you're started out with um a very not started out but your first kill of the of the movie is insanely crazy like i'll just say it involves a pair of scissors and i'm just going to leave it at that um when i saw it it just blew my blew my mind blew my socks it just I'd never seen that one before. It was new. Um, not, I mean, I've seen, I guess, variations of it, but never quite like like this. It was, it was, it was different. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put that bad boy down. And so, <clears throat> like I said, back to she stands up for herself. Um, while she's there, she is told about this this bizarre. Um, a uh, teaching style that went on used to go on, but now is no longer um, being used. It is a uh, band style because it brings out the the mo- the worst of the worst of the worst of you, and it, you know a bunch of people. You know how if you're uh, uh, um, getting a getting a constant assault of of being slapped around, um, being drugged. Uh, being told you're like the like horrible names, and it, they degrade you to the degree that to where you break, and you just become this subservient um, uh, uh, being or creature. You know, it kind of also has that uh, that aspect of martyrs with that, where you know it's all about how much can you put someone through before they break, and they see they have that. Uh, that almost divine and divine glare look upon their face. It's uh, very uh, creepy, and and uh, this one definitely uh, grabs you by the uh, by the nether regions and gives it a good give gives it a good squeeze. You know, it's pretty good. Uh, now, like I said, it it is a lot like Suspiria. The coloring is um, so. I'm going to roll into the to the technical review on this. Uh, the Suspir or the the um, for sure inspir- inspiration from Suspiria that it's a clear um, it's clear and bright as day. It doesn't it's not uh, something that only a film scholar would notice. Uh, anybody that has seen Suspiria will will notice this because everything from the color to the uh, a lot of the camera work um, and even even the soundtrack the sound score is just top notch. It's uh, it reminds me of the old Goblin days. You know, I really really dig it. It was fun. Uh, um, uh, now on to the inner well. We'll give give that a four on that side because that, like I said, this is this is good. This is polished. This is going to be uh, something that that I think deserves a much needed attention. I you know I, this business I believe did go out of uh, did go under. Uh, that makes me sad because I own all four of their releases and all four are solid, solid, solid. Um, I know that they must have ran into money issues right away because. This and um, uh, the violent shit um, Italian um, movie is the only ones that have the full decked out 
soundtrack, um, numbered little booklet. They're the only ones that do. The uh, second two, you can tell they ran into money issues and they had to basically downgrade the uh, packaging, which is really sad and sucked. But I still um, bought their stuff because it is awesome. It's something I'm glad I own. Uh, I've out of out of the entire four out of the four of them, or Orphan Killer is probably my least favorite. But I do really, really dig it. Um, like all four, I would give on the entertainment side of solid four. Like these are extremely entertaining films. Do go out and pick this one up if you can. Uh, I know they're no longer in print, but there should be uh, a lot of copies out there floating around because there it says out of three thousand. So that's quite a bit that you can you can pick and choose from. Um, pick and choose that you can find out there uh all right guys um on to the entertainment side like i said i'm going to give this one a four as well it is so extremely entertaining uh from beginning to end um i'm sorry today is today's a little tough one for me i'm running i i can't uh come out with the best words on this one um got a little bit of cotton mouth so <laughs> so that's kind of uh interrupting the whole deal but um i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that if you fans of suspiria and and starry eyes do yourself a favor and check this out it reminds me a mixture of the old suspiria and the new suspiria all right guys i love all your faces as always i can't wait to see you until tomorrow i got a goofy one for t for terrible tuesday it's one i really really adore um but uh i don't know how um most of you will feel about it it's goofy it's a uh a, a slasher f that uh uh one of those that capitalize on the uh the glory of the slasher days of the 80s <laughs> all right guys I shall see you tomorrow, and as always, you know that routine, like, share, and subscribe, and peace.